Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the channel. Now, today I'm going to explain to you a very important process. It's a technical process, but believe me, just learn this because it's definitely going to save you every now and then. It's, it's one of those things that you don't do very often, but when you do, you definitely want to know the fast and efficient way to do it. And that is how to transfer all of the textures from an already texture asset like this very nice little cat right here into a new asset that has different topology, different UVs, different like construction, right? So right here, I have both of the little cats. And if I go into the topology, you can see the big difference. This is a relatively smooth cat with all of the information. By the way, this is from Polyhaven. And this one right here, it's a more sort of like optimized low poly version of the element. But if I quickly jump to Maya, one thing that you're going to see is that the UVs of the element are actually different. This is the low poly or the UVs from the high poly mesh. And this right here are the UVs from the low poly mesh, which are a little bit, I wouldn't say more efficient. We do get a little bit of extra textile density, but we're not talking about this particular model right now. So I'm going to show you how you can transfer all of the information from one to the other seamlessly in just an instant. Let's go. So this is where we're going to start, of course, and uh, credit what credit is due. This is not my model. This is by our good friends Enrico Seedlers and Riley Queen from the Polyhaven side, of course. We're going to be using this concrete cat statue. And this is the question, right? Like, what if we have a relatively dense mesh right here and we want to transfer all of the maps that we already have on this one to a new model that might have more UV space, less UV space, a different UV resolution, a different UV like organization. This is exactly what we're going to be solving right now. So this is not a bad model. This is actually like fairly, fairly nice. It does have a lot of cuts uh, in my personal opinion, but it's perfectly, perfectly workable. If we check a quick textile density, you're going to see that we are at 78.07. So very, very good number for the size and the amount of UBs that we have. But I went ahead and did this quick Siri mesh version of the little cat statue. And you can see we go all the way from 20 or 48,000 triangles to only 2,600. So definitely a little bit more efficient. Now, once we do this, of course, we need to get new UVs. And you can see this is my new UV layout with less cuts and a little bit more taxel density. And this is where, of course, one of my favorite softwares from the past couple of months comes into play, which is, of course, Marmoset. So I'm going to bring in first the high poly of the element, and we do need to set up the material. So in this particular case, I'm just going to drop the normal map information for the statue. I'm going to drop the diffuse information of the statue, and we're going to use the ambient occlusion roughness metallic. So this is, remember, a three-part map that each channel saves one of the informations. Roughness is going to be on the green channel. Metallic is going to be on the blue channel, which in this case, we have absolutely no metallic, so we don't need to worry about. And we need to enable occlusion and save the occlusion from the red channel right there. So there we go. This is the high poly. Again, technically, you can use this model. It's perfectly fine. It's it's, it's amazing. Like It works exactly as we would expect. Now, I'm just going to add a couple of lights so that we can see it a little bit better. So let me add a very nice light right here. And of course, a nice rim light, right? Everyone loves rim lights. There we go. Now we can see our little kitty right here. Awesome. So this is going to be my high poly. And we need, again, to set up the materials properly because we're going to be transferring that information, all of this maps information, into our new model. Super simple. We create a new bake project by clicking on this little bread option right here. I'm going to ca call this project cat, and we're going to drag and drop the cat into the high poly section. It's going to go invisible. We're not going to see it anymore. Don't worry. It's still there. It's just being hidden by everything else. And we're going to bring in our low poly. And boom, there you go. So by default, as you can see, it's trying to grab this material, the basic material that we have from the um, from the original statue. And of course, the UVs no longer match. The topology is not the same. We get like a completely different effect. No problem. We're going to create a new material here and just assign it so that we can see what's going on. And the first thing we need to do is, of course, go to our baker. We covered all of this in the Marmoset course. And we're going to set the output for this particular one. I'm going to set it on my downloads for now. I'm just going to hit save there. I'm going to call this cat. There we go. So if I do that, I need to select the resolution. I'm going to set to 4K resolution. I recommend changing this to a 16-bit channel. PSD is fine, but you can also change this to something like a Targa or something like that, a, a file that allows 16-bit depth so that you can get the best quality. Once you export, depending on the project you're working on, they may ask you for a different like format, but that one is usually, again, a good one. And here's where the magic happens. Let me bring this to the other side, because otherwise you guys are not going to see. And over here, on the maps, we need to do a configuration here on the maps, and we actually want to bake, yes, the normals, yeah, the normals of the objects, not really necessary. All of this we don't really need because technically all of the texturing work has already been done or the photogrammetry work. It's this one's right here on the material. We want to bake the albedo, we want to bake the roughness, we want to bake the metalness in case we have metalness, and of course, over here, the ambient occlusion, right? So all of these maps are the maps that we want. Normal on the top part here, ambient occlusion, 
Uh, again, we don't need material ID. We actually don't need curvature. We don't need normals object. If we just want to transfer maps, we just need normals, ambient occlusion, albedo, roughness, and metalness, which are, again, the maps that we connected, right? Now, quick check here. Let's go to the low poly element right here. And of course, we need to bring this into the low poly so that we can click on the low poly. And if we need to modify the cage, remember, we can use the max offset and the min offset to do that. Once we have that, that's it. <laughs> we just hit bake right here over on this area. Hit start. It's going to bake, as you can see, the four maps, the four maps that we normally need. And if I hit preview material, there we go. All of the information is being baked down right here. The first thing I noticed is, of course, that we got a couple of little, like, weird points right there, like on the ears and on the nose. This is usually going to be corrected with a little bit of a tweak on the cage. So let's go back to the cage and let's push the max offset a little bit up. That's it. <laughs> you saw right there, this is why they love freaking Marmosets. It's just so, so good. By the way, if you're watching this, make sure to tune in this Friday because I might have a little surprise about Marmoset on that stream. But yeah, the interactive baking allows me to see exactly what we're going on or what's happening on this thing. And that's it. Now we just move this to the side. Let's, well, actually, let's keep it right there. If you want to stop the bake, this is very important so that it doesn't update once we are finished with the uh, process. Make sure to go to the bake element and change the bake mode to offline. That way, only when you click bake will you get the result. So I'm going to push this back right there. Actually, let's push it forward right around there. And let's bring the high poly in. And there we go. We have successfully transferred all of the information, all of the map information, all of that texture information from that element to this element right here. All the normal, all the roughness, all the maps, ready to go. I know this is a short video, but believe me, guys, a couple of years ago, I was doing a project, and this technique right here, I did not have Marmoset available to me at that point. So the this technique, I had to do a completely different workflow to just get to work to get this working. And as you can see, it's very, very simple if you have the baking properties here inside of Marmoset. So hopefully you like this video. Again, short one, but don't forget, we're going to have Portfolio Review this upcoming Friday. So... That's pretty much it. Don't forget, always learning, always improving. And please don't forget, share, subscribe, like, all of that stuff helps the channel. We're really close to 50K and we're probably gonna have a big celebration if we get there by our next anniversary, which is in June. So yeah, let's uh, let's try our best and I'll see you back on this Friday's live stream and of course on the next videos. Bye-bye.